South American-born artist Gabriela Benitez will be demonstrating her artwork at the Art Gallery of Algoma during Culture Days. Gabriela, can you describe a little bit of your collection that you have here and how it relates to what influences you have as an artist? Well, my, my work was influenced for uh, an image of cluster of uh, knots and obviously tango is something related to that. Um, probably as uh, a person that was born in Buenos Aires, uh, I have a different perspective compared with the international view. Uh, tango in Buenos Aires is something very popular and uh, embedded in the popular culture, even though the music is very complex. So um, all of those cultural elements are uh, influenced my work and I will perform in the art gallery one of my <laughs> images and um, ideas uh, focus on uh, drawing that is my passion. How do you um, mix some of your views with the social consciousness of people with your artwork? How does that combine with your education and how does it translate to your art? Well, um, I think uh, the, popular, uh, the popular aspect and the human body representing the popular thing, uh, that is my most important uh, view and uh, probably related with the human landscape and relationships and all of those things that are um, uh, embedded or uh, influence the, the life every day. Elena is the coordinator for Culture Days. Elena, what have you got planned here at the Art Gallery of Algoma? Um, we have a day full of activities. Um, starting on the 27th, we have activities from 10 until 5. Um, in the morning, there is a printmaking workshop that is good for families. Um, we're going to take visitors behind the scenes, um, show our new art search database. We will have um, a Latin art and music section, um, some Indian inspired activities with rangoli making, which is a table arrangements and flower arranging. Um, so all kinds, of, all kinds of activities all day and fun for the whole family. Now culture days at the art gallery is lasting three days. Can you speak to that? Yes, so we have activities planned on the 27th all day, and then on the twen and in the evening on the 27th, we also have a wine tasting, and it's called Culture of Wine, so that'll be tasting wine and food from around the world. Um, on the 28th, we have a color tour planned, and that'll be a one-day um, tour where we start at the gallery, and there'll be exhibition tours and an artist talk with Ellen Van Lahr, and then we'll take guests on a bus and head out to Botswana Bay where we'll have lunch at the Voyager restaurant and then we'll do a couple of studio tours with members of the Botswana Bay Art Guild and then we go to Ellen Van Lars Artist Retreat where guests will have the opportunity to rest for a couple of hours or they can go on a guided nature hike with Ellen Van Lahr and she'll show people um, some of the spots that she's painted in her artwork. And what is the final day for Culture Days here at the gallery? That'll be on the 29th, which is the Sunday. And we had, um, or we have, an exhibition called Algo Mini, and that's all local artists. So many of those artists are going to come to the gallery, so it'll be a chance for people to meet the artists. And um, Miranda Bouchard, the curator here, will give a little talk in the afternoon um, about miniature artworks. For more information on Culture Days at the Art Gallery of Algoma, you can visit their website. For Shaw TV, I'm Ann Gordonaire.